you've probably noticed, but there's a ton of AI content out there. Yet there's one simple process some creators are using to create content that doesn't sound so generic, that actually sounds like them. Yet most people completely miss it. Let me guess what's happened. Your ChatGPT results sound fine, but they sound like everybody else. They don't sound like you. They sound bland and forgettable. So you spend forever editing the thing, trying to inject your voice. Here's the thing. You shouldn't have to fight AI trying to make it sound like you. The problem isn't your prompt, and it's not your writing skill either. The problem is you're skipping the most important step, the one that turns ChatGPT from a content vending machine into a creative powerhouse. In the next eight minutes, I'm gonna walk you through my exact five-step process. It's the same system that eliminates commodity content with something that could only come from you. Step number one is around ideation, AKA, don't let ChatGPT think for you. It's the most common problem that I see amongst people using AI for content creation. And you've seen it out there too. You've seen post after post of generic content. It's generic because they're asking AI to think for them. Instead, we want to co-create with AI or ChatGPT. So instead of just asking AI to do the thinking for you, to come up with the idea and to flesh it out, hey, ChatGPT, write me a thousand word blog post on X topic and then just post it, you actually have to provide the raw ingredients. You have to provide the original thinking, the creative spin yourself. Think of AI as like a world-class chef. You wouldn't just bust into Gordon Ramsay's kitchen demanding food. You'd have to bring some ingredients, something for him to work with. And after you give him the ingredients, he would be able to produce a culinary masterpiece. For AI, there are three key ingredients that it needs in order to help you cook something good. And it is the what of what you wanna do, why it's important, and how you want it to approach it. For example, you could just go to ChatGPT and say, write a blog post about how to stand out in your content marketing in the age of AI. Sure, you can enter on that and ChatGPT will totally write you a blog post. It will be generic, it will be bland, and it will capture the attention of nobody. But I could enter that same prompt and then expand on an original idea I actually have on how to stand out in an age of AI. Here's how it goes. ChatGPT, I'd love to expand an idea I've had around how to stand out in an age of AI. And it is through defining core values. And you can see I've filled it in with just a bit of a paragraph in order to guide it on writing that blog post. And now ChatGPT is getting to work on crafting a blog post that is much more aligned with something I actually believe and has fleshed it out for me to now evaluate and can edit and craft into something that is truly a masterpiece. Step two is the interview because you can have ChatGPT pull more out of you. Oftentimes we have an initial idea. It could be good, but there's actually more to it. ChatGPT is gonna need a lot more than a few sentences in order to turn this into a whole blog post. So what we're going to do is allow it to interview me in order to pull more of the idea out. Let me show you. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top of ChatGPT and instead of starting a new window, you can actually just hover over the original prompt, find the little edit button and adjust this prompt. And then you can add just a little modification. I'm saying don't jump into writing the blog post right away. Instead, ask me questions that better understand the idea more fully. And I'm gonna push send on that. Now you can see that ChatGPT is going ahead with a number of different questions here in order to better understand my idea around leading with core values to help your content stand out. I'm gonna go ahead and answer each one of these one by one. If you love learning about step-by-step -step processes like this one in order to get the most out of the tools you're already using, you need to check out the AI Business Society. It is a membership for marketers just like you who are lost in the hype of marketing and all the different news and events and tools. If you wanna to cut to what's working now, I highly recommend checking out this membership where you can get access to master classes, community conversations, and all the news that you need to know about. Not all the hype, just the things that are actionable now. You could try it out risk-free by checking out the link in the description and signing up today. Now that I've answered all of ChatGPT's questions, we're gonna move on to step three, which is to actually create the content. We, now we have this blog post about how to stand out in the content marketing age of AI. We talk about why values are the human advantage, how values drive trust, and it gives a real example of a story that I gave to it because it asked for it. And then of course, a bottom line and a summary. 
I love writing content this way with AI because it's not just you and it's not just AI. You're co-creating together. And while you're building the scaffolding of the idea, ChatGPT can come in there and give the artistic flourishes that fill in the gaps of what you might have left out or what you didn't even think to add in order to make some content that is truly useful for your audience. Now we're moving on to step four. We actually wanna have ChatGPT write the whole blog post or the piece of content in a ChatGPT canvas. It's a wonderful feature where you and ChatGPT can write the blog post out together. We've come a long way and we have something that's really good now, but in Canvas, you can do the final edits in order to add the layer that only you can add. Let me show you how. So I'm back in ChatGPT and I'm gonna click on that little edit message button. I'm gonna extend this prompt a little bit. And all I'm gonna say is write it in a Canvas and that should be enough to trigger the Canvas feature. You can see that ChatGPT put it in this box that now we can actually come into and edit. If we go up to the top and click edit, we now have access to it like it's a Word doc. We can enter new spaces, we can delete content, we can come and remove phrases like let's be real because ChatGPT gets a little carried away with phrases like that sometimes. And we can personalize it, tailor it, and get rid of tiny little clues that AI leaves behind that don't really need to be there. Ultimately, the canvas is where you put on the final touches, you fine tune it so that you can get it to the point you need it to before you copy and paste it over to WordPress or Medium or wherever you're going to publish your content. Now we're gonna move on to step five. And this is where things really start to get exciting because you've done all the different work of putting your idea out there, letting ChatGPT interview you and drawing more of that goodness out. Now it's time to take that long form piece of content, likely a blog post, and actually repurpose it into so much more good content. Let's jump back into ChatGPT and I'll show you how. Turn this blog post into three separate yet unique LinkedIn posts. Bam, it's gonna start a whole new canvas. Based on my original content, it's gonna now put it into a format that's appropriate for LinkedIn. But you don't have to stop there. You can go from blog post to LinkedIn post to threads for X to Instagram post to actual images that you can post on Instagram and the list goes on and on. You've already done the hard work. Now you can have ChatGPT repurpose it, coming up with stuff that's not commodity, but based on your original ideas, based on your unique stories. If you wanna know about what quality content to make in the first place, I highly recommend checking out this next video that will walk you through how to use AI's deep research tools to find out exactly what your customers and audience are actually asking about. But before you do, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see more practical AI content like this video.